Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shara. Today's session, we are going to learn Java Standard Tag Library Formatting Tags in JSP. If you see here in my previous videos, I am going. I am discussed about there are the uh, different tags are available in JSTL, means Java Standard Tag Library. In the Java standard tag library, there is so many tags are available. Those are divided into the five categories. If you see in my previous videos, I am discussed about core tags, SQL tags, XML tags, and function tags. Now, this video, I am going to cover formatting tags. First of all, I am going to discuss about what about Java standard tag library. See here, the Java standard, tag, Java standard tag library is introduced by Sun Microsystem in JSP version 1.2 onwards. This Java standard tag library is reduced Java code into your JSP page, like standard action tags, custom tags, and expression language. If you see standard action tags, custom tags, and expression language, how these tags are going to uh, these tags are reducing java code into your jsp in the same like this way this java standard tag library is also going to reduce your java code into your jsp now and each and every tag in the standard java standard tag library has a some particular functionality like standard action tags in jsp now this video i am going to cover about formatting tags if you see formatting tags there is a different formatting tags available i am going to discuss about uh, in this video most popular formatting tags see here i am going to discuss 11 popular formatting tags mostly commonly used 11 formatting tags the first one is fmt colon fmt is here prefix we can put any name for the prefix means fmt we can use it any name but if you want to uh, if you put your customized name we need to uh, make it in a tag library as a prefix now fmt colon format number means to render a numerical value with a specified precision or a format if you want to change your number into a decimal or if you want to change a number into the float double you can use a format number tag the next tag is fmt colon pass number this tag is used to pass the string representation of a number currency and percentage if you want to change a pass string representation number or a currency or a percentage we can use a pass number if you see in a java if you want to convert a string into the uh, string number into the in a integer just we can use integer dot percent like that we can use into the formatting tags we can use it uh, pass number tag the third one is format date tag the format date tag is used to format a date under the time using a supplied style and a pattern for example if you want to format a date month year hours minutes seconds milliseconds or if you want to a different style month year date month milliseconds hours minutes we can use this format tag we can represent how uh, your date should looks like the next one is fmt colon parse date tag the fmt colon parse date tag is used to parse the string representation of a date and or a time for example your date in the string format if you want to convert your a string date into a date and time we can use the parse date for a tag to convert your string date into a date the next one is fmt colon bundle 
the fmt colon bundle tag is used to load a resources bundle to be used by its a tag body if you, whatever you are using your tag body it is the bundle is used to load whatever you are using into that particular tag body that's what the bundle tag is going to use the next one is fmt colon set locale the set locale is used to store the given locale in a locale configuration variable if you see in the iitn means internationalization means we can display our page into the different languages dynamically in that situation we need to set definitely set at the locale locale means we can set our loca location to store a given locale in a location configuration variable the next tag is fmt colon set bundle the fmt colon set bundle is used to load a resources bundle and stores it in the named scope variable or a bundle configuration variable if you see set bundle set bundle means the name itself is saying to set something if you want to set in the particular scope if you want to set a bundle into a particular scope we can use the set bundle whatever the scope you want we can set uh, bundle into that particular scope by using fmt colon set bundle tag the next one is fmt colon time zone see here there is a different time zones are available in our world if you want to set if you want to uh, check time zone if you want to specify your time zone we can use fmt colon time zone specifies the time zone for any time formatting or passing actions nested in its body the next one is fmt colon set time zone the set the tag itself is saying set time zone if you want to set ist or if you want to set different time zone we can use the set time zone tag to set our time zone stores the given time zone into the time zone configuration variable whatever the setting your time zone that will be stored it into the time zone variable the tenth one is fmt colon message it displays an internationalized messages internationalized messages means for example here is we are showing in uh, for example india india some countries are uh, there is a different languages are available in india if you want to show which religion we can uh, show your language if you go with uh, uh, india there is a different languages if you go with the china chinese if you go with the japan japanese like that way we can display our messages into the different languages by using fm fmt colon message tag to display an internationalized messages the next tag is fmt colon request encoding the request encoding means sets the request character encoding there is a different character encodings are available utf8 utf16 utf64 different different uh, character sets are available if you want to which set we can set your set the request character encoding which character set you want to do encoding you can mention it into a request encoding these are the different tags are used to in a formatting tags in the java standard tag library now i can show you a simple example on this see here i am creating a simple example on the jstl in this jstl these are the dependencies this is regarding this is regarding the servlet and the remaining all are related to the jstl related tags the next one is i am going to explain formatting tags if you see in my previous videos these are the xml tags 
J JSTL XML tags and JSTL uh, SQL tags and JSTL format tags and JSTL core tags. All these are available in my previous videos. And also, I am putting this project into my public GitHub repository. I am pasted link into my description. If you want to go to this project, just go to the description and uh, get the link from the description and do the practice. I'm putting all the dependent jars into the GitHub only. Just go through the link and get the uh, code. See here. This is the taglib directive. I mentioned it here. This is the taglib directive. In this code, I'm using the two tag, uh, JSTL tags uh, libraries. The first one is formatting tags. And the second one is I'm using the core tags. See here, I'm using, I mentioned the prefix as FMT or prefix as a C. We can mention anything prefix. Whatever we are mentioned at here, before uh, we can use it into here also, before the colon. Whatever the we are prefix we are mentioned at here, definitely we need to use it. Uh, that uh, whatever you are mentioned in the prefix, we need to mention it here, colon, something, whatever you want. These are the thing. Now, see here, I'm using some core tags and as well as I'm using formatting tags. If you see, this is the core tag C colon set where is equal to balance. I am setting some value. See here, I'm creating a variable called balance. I'm creating a variable by using the core tags, by using the C colon set tag. I'm creating a variable called balance tab, balance variable. I'm putting the value as something. 12,000 point, uh, 12 lakh, 120,000.2309. After that, I'm formatting those uh, uh, balance, uh, balance by using the formatting tags. If you see here, I'm using the formatting value is equal to, I'm using it here, expression language. If you see dollar open brace, I'm putting the variable name under close brace. This is called an expression language. If you see my previous videos, I'm clearly explained how the expression language. What is the expression language? Go through my previous video and check. And I'm checking what is the type which type I, I am going to format. I am saying that please convert my balance into the currency format. If you see, I am saying that here I am using format number. I am giving type is equal to number. What I am saying, change this, uh, format this uh, balance into number with the uh, max integer digits is only three like that here this is the formatting number i am giving the max fraction digits if you see max integer digits means these are the max integer digits if you see max fraction digits means these are the max fraction digits these are the integer digits if you see 120000 these are the integer digits these are the fraction digits max max means it means 3 means up to 120 here max fraction digits means up to 230 like that now here i am saying that formatting my balance into the number and grouping used is equal to false i am saying that grouping used is equal to false in the same like that way i am using percentage i am saying that percentage here i am saying that percentage i am saying that formatting number like that way if you see, I am saying locale, FMT colon set locale, value is equal to EN underscore US. If you see, after that, I am creating a value, I am setting the locale means, I am setting the location is EN underscore US, United States. I am asking formatting the number, balance, in the which I am in the I am setting the currency. What currency? US currency. The next number of parsing. I am setting I am creating a balance variable with the 
but uh, with particular amount i am parsing the number what i am parsing whenever i am parsing the number it will be stored into the i am creating a one variable called i that is called a type number and uh, what i am giving that i'm um, for the parsing i am giving the balance whatever the balance it will be parsed into the number and it will be stored into the i variable after that i am printing the i variable by using the expression language that is the way we can use it if you see here i am setting the value i am creating a date java new java dot util dot date i am creating a i am storing it into the variable called now variable after that i am using the formatting date i am saying that type is the time what i am saying whatever i am giving the date now now is contains date what i am saying i am separating the date now variable from time only now i am separating from uh, day, uh, util dot date whatever the value is given i am separating from the date only i am separating date and time i am separating both and date style is short and time style is short like that way i am saying that both medium medium both long long whatever the format you want we can just do it in the format data tag after that i am creating a simple variable called now i am setting the value as 2010 here i am using the parse date method parse date method i am passing the string value means what why i am passing the string value is i am creating a now variable i am putting into the string value that i am passing to the parse date i am saying that uh, i am creating a one more variable called parse emp date uh, in the format of ddmm yyyy that is where i am going to doing in the using the parse date tag if you see format date if you want to format we can use the format date like this if you see here one more thing here also i am using the format date but the different style type is equal to both and the time style is long and time style is long after that i am changing the uh, time zone into the gmt8 for that i am using set time zone is equal to value is equal to gmt8 after that date is changed zone now i am changing i am formatting the date into that particular time zone is now like that way you can use local and set bundle i am setting the bundle i am setting the bundle something after that i am setting uh, uh, counter dot one whatever the message available in the counter dot one i am putting into the long bundle something long bundle long bundle after that if you see here request encoding value is equal to utf8 and uh, uh, set local value is equal to yes uh, underscore yes i am setting the local after that i am doing the set bundle like this way you can change uh, local messages a uh, formatting message what it is going to use it can be display whatever the format you are doing it can be just display into the fmt variable like this way we can use our formatting tags into your jsp if you want this project just go through my description it will be available uh, uh, link just go through the link and uh, uh, get the project from my github public github do the practice Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.